All right, Coach, uh, gearing up for game week now. Uh, things start to amp up a little bit in terms of intensity this week? Yeah, definitely excited to, to have a, a counting game uh, on Friday and also on Saturday. So I think it's, um, you know, the, the preseason is usually uh, about six weeks and it seems kind of long. And about the time that starts grinding on and getting old, you start practice and then practice. Um, is pretty fast and furious just the way that the the way that we're regulated as far as um, not being able to start until about uh, three weeks before your first game ish um, trying to put in a lot of stuff fast and those 20 practices or whatever it is that you have before you get going I think we've probably had about 16 or so maybe now uh, somewhere in that range so uh, not, not a whole lot of time to to teach everything that you're going to do and uh, but that last week when you when we had a scrimmage on Saturday and then when you kind of turn the page of that next week to actually have a counting game, it usually gets the guys' attention even a little bit more. So um, should be a fun week. Uh, we've got a, uh, two teams that uh, that will probably be similar to us um, and, and two, two good challenges down in Texas. So um, if we play good basketball, then we can win two games. And if we play ba bad basketball, we can probably lose two games. So. Um, should be a lot of fun for us to see how well we can prepare the next few few days here before we take off on Thursday, and then and then um, by the time we leave here, I'll I'll feel either really good about our chances to win or really bad about our chances to win, depending on how we prepare. So I'm um, sure hoping that we start off on the right foot foot this Monday, um, but but really excited about how we played over the weekend. We had a scrimmage against uh, here at home against the Division Two team, and it was a really good chance to see some more guys out on the court and some specific situations and felt really good about how we played over the weekend. So um, I think it's a, a good chance for us to look at look at some things that we did right and wrong and, and fix the things we did wrong and hopefully replicate the things we did right this weekend. How well have you seen things come together, Coach, in practice and in those scrimmages compared to the exhibitions where you guys were kind of on the floor a little bit early? Yeah, no, it's been really good. In the last week we had a chance to talk about specific situations. Um, you know, we played an exhibition game um, the first one we played and, and really the second one too was right after that and, and we had gone up and down and played full court basketball for one day <laughs> prior to that so it was a lot of teaching of um, you know how do we defend a cross screen a down screen a flare screen a, a ball screen a ball screen in this area of the court out of bounds plays a staggered double a true double um, and then you just go to the offensive side and what how are we going to run our base up against the zone or against the man and this this thing and this thing or that thing and sideline out of bounds and different set plays and then all of a sudden the, a lot of the new guys look at you like they think you're crazy you're speaking another language and they haven't figured that out yet and then you're telling them it's just basketball and they're really confused and then the old guys are are bored because they've heard it all the last two or three years that they've been here so you've got this mix of guys that are you're not really sure where you're at after six practices and then we go play somebody else and run up and down for the first time really so that's always interesting um, and then we can put some things on tape and really start teaching things so we had a, a lot of teaching last week, putting guys in actual situations um, and saying just because you play guard, your job is not the same as all the other guards. Uh, your job is probably a lot different than some of the other people, depending on what your individual talents are and your strengths and weaknesses. And then same thing on the defensive end. So had a really good week in practice last week and also in the film room, uh, kind of breaking things down for guys. I really thought that the, they really started to understand why we're doing things in practice after we were able to play those two games. And, that's the advantage. You can kind of show them on tape. Uh, okay, that's why we're doing this drill. That's why we teach it this way. That's why when you do it wrong, it doesn't work. Uh, so that was good. And then we had a chance to play another game, like I said, on Saturday in a scrimmage and see some of those things uh, done a little bit more consistently. So that was good. A lot of progress in the last week or so. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, we'll, we'll come back on Sunday and everybody will say, oh, Merkin knows what he's doing or he doesn't know what he's doing, whether we win or lose. So. That's usually how it works in coaching. <laughs> you win, everybody thinks you're smart, you lose. People aren't quite sure about you. <laughs> Had any injuries suffered in the preseason, or are you all full hands on deck? Pre pretty healthy. Uh, we've had some nicks and bruises that you usually have a lot of the time. And when you're going two and a half or three hours a little bit, and guys are running into each other, guys kind of get hurt a little bit. Uh, one of our freshmen was nicked up and missed a, a, about seven practices, so that's tough, especially when you're new and trying to figure things out. So. Um, Sam's been out for, for a little bit over a week, just got cleared about an hour ago. Uh, found out that he'll be there today, and then Brandon Green's been banged up a little bit uh, as well, and he's cleared to go full full go, go today. 
Uh, so it'll be nice. We'll have a full practice squad again. Then we've had some guys sick, and you know it's nice out. And then all of a sudden, a little snow falls, and then guys start sneezing and coughing, and then they go to the trainer, and then one of our guys tells the trainer that his throat's all red because he's been yelling so much on defense, and then I'm telling him he's not yelling on defense, so then they're not sure if he's sick or if he's yelling actually. It gets confusing around those offices, especially I'm not that smart anyway, so then I can't figure out if he's sick or not or if we should sit out practice. Um, but for the most part, we should have everybody. If things go according to plan, we'll have a full roster. We'll take, uh, I think we'll take uh, 12 or 13 guys dressed out down to down to Texas, and we're, we're probably going to have about four red shirts uh, this year. There's still a few guys um, that we're still making that call on. Um, and the nice thing is the freshmen can play in exhibitions and still and still redshirt. It's a good rule by the NCAA. I don't say that about all the rules, but I think that's a really good one because you can get them out there and run around a little bit and see what they do well or what they don't do well. And then I have to make a call on some guys and, and try to figure out three months from now how good good will that guy be and can he help us the last you know month of the half of the season or is that not enough? Because then I'm trying to figure out how good he is when he's 23 years old and a fifth year senior and maybe he's starting playing 30 minutes. So the joys of those decisions early in the year, I'm sure a lot of college coaches kind of have to try to figure that out with certain players. And we've got some really talented young guys that are going to be really good. And I just have to figure out if they're going to be really good this year or the next four years after this. So This weekend, do you plan on uh, rotating more? Or are you going with the set lineup and see how far that goes? Or Yeah, we'll probably play about 10 guys, I would guess. Um, and I probably know who about three of those guys are. <laughs> and then we've probably got about 10 other guys playing for those last seven spots. Um, and any given day, I can come into practice and see this guy looks really good or that guy. But we need some guys that are more consistent uh, day to day. Um, but, uh, you know, Russ Davis who started for us last year and, and Richie Maya started for us and Tyler Rudolph. And those three have been pretty good almost every day. Or even if they have a bad day shooting, they're probably pretty good defensively or at least know where they're supposed to be. Um, and they've been good with their leadership stuff, too. And then there's about, like I said, about 10 other guys playing for those uh, six or seven other spots, and it's been a real battle um, on any given day. And um, other than having a couple guys nicked up, we probably would have started started a different lineup every, every all three of our exhibition games had everyone been healthy. Um, so we'll see. We have uh, four more days of competition, I guess, and then and then I'll have some tough calls because uh, there's a lot of guys that have put themselves in a good position to to probably deserve to play, um, and, and we'll kind of figure out where, where we're at from there, and that probably will change between there and the, the next uh, three or four weeks for sure.